Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to Motion Nations. And before you say anything, I know I haven't been uploading lately on this channel and reason for that is I just got married and now I will try my best to upload regularly. So let's begin with this one. So in today's video, we are going to create this flipping image animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and in order to create this animation, you need some images and for that I am going to use this one which are just some thumbnails for my YouTube videos. It's up to you, you can use any image or video whatever you want, just import them in After Effects and you are ready to go. So first let's create a new composition and let's call this one main, width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps, duration you can pick whatever you want, just click on OK. And once you have your composition, let's create a background by right clicking, let's add a solid. I'm going to make this like a little bit off white and let's make it a little bit of this yellow color. Just click on OK. Once you have your background, we can lock it by simply clicking on this lock icon so that we don't move this layer. After that, we are ready to animate our thing. But first, let's import one of these images. So I'm going to drag one of the images which we want. Let's press S and I'm going to scale this down. Let's scale this down by 50. Also, I'm going to make this 3D because we are going to rotate it in the 3D space. Let's move this to the top so you can just simply just place it over here. Once you have this, we are going to create a controller which is going to help us control everything. So for that right click, let's add a null object and you can quickly rename this to controller. Now we can make this 3D as well and I'm going to move it like a little bit down below so that it is not completely at this image. We can press P for position. And let's just move it down below a little bit somewhere around here. Let's set this to 660. Perfect. Once you have this, we can parent our thumbnail to this. Let's do it by simply pick whipping. Once we have parented it to the null, we are going to duplicate our image. So we are going to duplicate it eight times because I want like eight images in the flip animation, but it's completely up to you can have like 12, 20, whatever number you want. So let's select this and I'm going to duplicate it eight times by pressing Ctrl D. So let's just press it. Control D. So now we have eight images. Let's select the controller. First, I'm going to press R. We are going to use the Y rotation. So you can see it is rotating along the Y axis. Now, how much you want to rotate depends upon what number of images you have. So we have eight over here. That means we can divide 360 by eight, which will give us this value of 45 degree. So we will have 45 degree of difference between all of these rotations. So first, let's set this to zero. Now after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top layer. I'm going to set this to none because we want our main image to stay like where it is. And after that, we can change the controller value of the X rotation to 45. So now it has rotated a little bit. Now we can select the second layer. We can just leave it to none so that it won't move. And we can just simply add 45 to this value like that. So now it has moved. And again, we can just set this one to none. So just rotate it a little bit and then change the parenting to none of the next layer. So 90 plus 45. And again, we can set this to none. Let's add 45 to this again. Let's set this to none. Let's add 45 to this and set this to none. Then again, add 45. Let's set this to none. And at last, if I add 45 to this, now we can set this to none as well. Now, once you have every layer covered, we can parent everything back to this null object. So let's select everything and just parent it back. So now you can see all of these layers are aligned in this rotating pattern and we can easily rotate them by simply controlling the Y rotation just like this. So if you want, you can like rotate it along any other axis. There you go. Now you can see we have all of these arranged in the circular method. Now in order to animate this, what we can do is we can just set everything to zero. So let's set this to zero as well. Now you can press S to scale this if you want like these images to be quite big. But I'm going to like leave it over there. Let's just move the null object down below. Maybe let's scale this up a little bit. Now let's animate it by simply selecting this layer. Let's press R and add a keyframe for X rotation. Now we can move like a little bit ahead. So somewhere around here, we can just simply change this to let's say two so that we have these two complete rotations. Now, if you want to reduce this gap between these images or if you want to have like more images in between them, then again, you have to divide 360 by the number of images and you have to repeat this step again. 
So once you are done with this, we can simply replace all of these images with whatever thumbnail we want. So let's select the second one and we can replace it by this one. All you have to do is just hold on the Alt key, just click and drag so that it will replace it like that. So now you can see we have replaced that. Let's select the next one and again we can select the next layer which is this one. Hold on the Alt key, just replace it. Repeat this step till you have replaced all of these images. So now I have updated all of these images and all of these are like different. Let's just increase its scale and we can also play with the position. Let's add a keyframe and let's press U. Let's just move this keyframe like a little bit ahead and in the beginning we can like move it down below. Now we can select all of these keyframes. Let's press F9 to ease them. Let's go to the graph editor. Now if a graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph. We can tweak it further by simply selecting these endpoints and we can change the graph to look like this. Now if I press play, you can see we have this very nice flipping animation and then it stops. Perfect. Now we can do one more thing. We can have our text reveal after this. So in order to do that, let's just move it over here. Now what we can do is we can just simply pick any of these frames. So for example, let's pick this one. After this, our image will appear. So let's select this image, which is this one. And once it is completely inside our frame, we can select all of these layers that are like below it. Let's just trim them there you go so it is visible and now we can just simply select this and just move it so that it is not visible after this somewhere around here now all you have to do is just play around with the timing of it so at this point we don't want the image which is behind this to be visible so which is this one so this layer we can just simply cut it over here so just trim all of these layers to this point there you go so now we will have this flipping animation and as soon as this layer comes up you can see we have nothing after this now we can let's make the position come come in faster There you go. So after this, you can just simply select the text tool and just type whatever you want. So just scale it and let's align it in the center. And let's place it behind this image. And let's just trim it. There you go. Now if I press play, you can see our text will be visible right after our image goes down. So this is how you can create these kind of flipping image animation in After Effects. Now you can use them in your documentary edits or you can use as a channel intro as well, just like that. Now the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.